Hey everybody, welcome back. Flight Sim Maker here. I just want to show you the 3D printed trim well. Alright, we're going to take the bracket, we're going to add the servo, we're going to add the servo to the servo arm. We'll get the screws installed there because if we don't get them installed there, we won't be able to install it later on with the trim well. And okay, now we're going to take mix up some glue. Get it nice and thoroughly mixed. It's two-part epoxy. And then we're going to add some glue to the bracket. Once the glue is on the bracket, we're going to push it in the slot. It's a pretty tight fit, so it, gets, it helps, but the glue will make it secure. Okay, you're going to take the trim well, you're going to get some glue, put it on the spacer. Press it on there nice and tight, and let that dry. Alright, now that it's dry, we're going to take the bracket, we're going to pull it, the spacer onto the rotary encoder so it's nice and tight and doesn't click. Then we're going to go ahead and add glue to the base. Sorry, I filmed it off screen, but and then you'll just push it into the slot there and same thing, set aside, let it dry. And I actually made two of these, so you can see that one doesn't have a servo, and that's why I learned the hard way. Okay, to the SimVim website, uh, we're going to go to the input output guide. We're going to go down to servo driven gauges, and this is what you're going to want to read. And you'll take a look at their wiring diagrams. This is exactly what I use to set mine up. Okay, after you got everything kind of figured out and how you're going to wire everything, um, you can co come over here to the configurator. Uh, I chose the Cessna 172, and those are for electric trim functions that'll work with your buttons, trim position. We want the elevator trim that's down here. We're going to click that. We're going to assign it to the two inputs that we had on our Arduino, which was 50 and 51. And then we're going to take the electric trim position and we're going to assign it to the servo board. So come up here, hit servo, and then we're going to have it on digital port 1. After we select servo drive gauge, and sorry, digital port 2. Save that, save the data file, put it in your plugin folder, and then we'll take our Arduino and our Arduino Nano. We're going to add 5 volt power to it. We're going to add the 5 volt power and ground connection for the servo. And we'll hook that to digital port 2. And now we have our three servo wires. Just got a tiny little Tower Pro. I think it's a 9 gram servo. And get it all connected up. Yeah, we're gonna set that aside. Come back. We're gonna add ground. We've got to connect the two boards together via ground. Um, this power wire here, I use it to power the Arduino Nano. And then we need our two signal wires to control. Okay, got everything in there, and then we hooked up uh, our test piece. You see, we got the three rotary encoders. The two yellow signal wires are attached to the port 50 and 51, and then the gray is attached to ground. And trimming it up and down will make it move in the game. Um. Okay, here we are in X.11. What we want to see is this trim data rift. So we're going to go over to the settings. And we'll you know type in FL to get your trim and flaps. And then we got flap stats, so we're gonna add that. Now we got it up here. Then we're gonna go into the plugins, simvin cockpit, input options, and now we just want to bump the trim wheel once to see the lax active input. I have it type three with plus three on the acceleration, so that way it will the faster you spin it, the more acceleration it's gonna have. It works out good and gives you really fine control movement. And you can see it, it's going up and down. Okay, and now we're gonna go set the trim gauge, so that. This is where our value, see our value here is what we see up in the top corner, so I already had it mapped, but I'm gonna delete the mapping, and then I'm gonna go find, move it, click it, until it's at the top extent. I'll have an overlay here in just a second to show you. There it is. 
we got all the way top. We set the value of minus one, as you can see in the top left corner. And uh, we're going to move it down to the bottom extent. And we're going to give that, assign that a value of one. So we'll have negative one and one. There's one. Add that key point, and we're done. If you look at the trim will indication in the game and on the panel, they now match. So if you want to build your own trim will, got a link in the description. Also, Simbim, find them on Patreon and support them. They have an amazing plug-in and it's all free.